So the new Google Pixel 8a is about launch in only a couple of weeks and we already have the full design of it and how it looks like and all the specs of it. So basically you will get a bit uh, different uh, camera bar here at the end basically. So when you compare to the older ones it will be basically look very different actually. So and also the corners will be more rounded here to be kind of round phone and I think that will look pretty good. So, as for the specs itself, so it will have Tensor G3 processor that we have on the original Pixel 8. However, this uh, processor will be a bit underclocked, so it will be a bit weaker than the uh, on the processor on the Pixel 8. So, then also we'll have 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, the old uh, Pixel 7 8 also had 8 gigs of RAM, however, this 6a uh, had 6 gigs of RAM only. So, but Performance wise, I don't think you're going to see much of any difference uh, between, for example, the 8A and the 6A. So I wouldn't even upgrade from the 6A because the performance difference maybe would be like maybe like 20% uh, increase over the 6A or and barely any difference from the 7, 8. So don't really upgrade from this phone because the processor, even if it says it's G3, it's really just as powerful as the original G1, pretty much, maybe a few percent better. Then uh, the phones will come with 128 gigs of storage or 256. So that's news and that's quite welcome actually. So the price for the regular 499 and for the upgraded 549. In some places I saw it will be $600, but yeah, you can expect to get 549. Then also we'll have 6.1 inch display. Uh, so I think it's a bit smaller than the 7.8, I think, uh, by like, just like a tiny fraction. But uh, the display size, I think, will be very, very good. And that's perfect display size. And we can expect to get 120 hertz of refresh rate than for the cameras. So the cameras uh, is a bit of letdown honestly on the 8A because it will have the same 64 megapixel camera that the 78 had. So and uh, for the pics, uh, basically for the still pictures, like regular pictures, you don't take videos, the cameras are absolutely great and they're like the literally the best cameras you can get. And uh, However, uh, for the video, it's a different story, because if you are uh, shooting video, I would really suggest to get the regular Pixel 8, because the video quality uh, on this Pixel 8a won't be nearly as good as on the 8 regular one. So, especially in the like low light performance, the regular Pixel 8 will be incredibly much more better. And yeah, this is kind of bummer, because in the past, really Google uh, used to put in the same sensors on the A series as they did on the regulars, uh, pro ones basically. So you had the best cameras you can get on these budget A series phones. However, they stopped doing that and now they put in lower quality sensors and yeah, that's, I don't really like it. I really like how it used to be. As for the uh, battery capacity, it will be uh, slightly increased from that previous year, but it's like a tiny fraction, so 4,500 milliamp hours. And yeah, uh, battery life on these Pixel phones really isn't the best, so I don't really think it will change much on the 8a, and I think there'll be better options uh, when it comes to battery life. So pretty much all the specs we know uh, already about this Pixel 8a, and personally, I, if you have like an older uh, 6, 8, uh, I wouldn't upgrade because again, it's like literally the same phone, just like maybe 20% better in some, uh, in some like, uh, like, like, like Geekbench results or stuff like that. But in real life, you won't really see any difference whatsoever. And the picture quality is if you're just like average user, it, it won't really make any difference at all. So there's really no point to upgrade from the 6.8 or the 7a because essentially they're pretty much the same phone. Anyway, if this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you.